Sims. <laughs> You're lying. That makes me feel so old. That cannot have been 20 years ago. We are going to be showing you 10 things that are turning 20 in 2020. And you're going to try not to feel old. Oh, I've done something relative to this here, and it, it really gets you. And also, part of the reason we're doing Try Not To Challenges is because we're launching a brand new YouTube channel called... Try Not To! We'll still be making all of our shows here on FBE, but we wanted to give the audience a place to easily find all of the Try Not To content they can dream of. Guys, you heard it here. Go check it out. Come on. You're ready to feel old today, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, the first camera phone is 20 years ago? Oh my god. Is that really the first camera phone? It looks like, looks like a toy. Shut up, I bet that quality was awful. <laughs> All right, well that was the JSH04, or J phone, and it was the first ever camera phone released in 2000, but only in Japan. Yeah, I figured as much. That's not shocking. That was a couple of years before I knew there were already phones with cameras. Yeah, that makes sense. It's crazy. No one had a camera phone besides Japan 20 years ago. I did not know that. Wow. This is 20 years old? How old is Eminem? 20 years? You're f***ing kidding me. This video is clearly like aged. It does look 20 years old. One of his like, Biggest and best bangers of all time. I remember when this song came out, everybody was like on their Slim Shady look. Everybody wanted to bleach their hair. So that was Eminem's The Real Slim Shady, which in 2011 placed at number 80 on New Musical Express's 150 best tracks of the last 15 years. 150? Wow. It just like shoots me back to the time more than anything. I don't feel as old because it does feel like that was a long time ago. At the same time, it didn't like completely irk me, but it did make me a little uncomfortable. I feel like he hasn't been out for that, that long. He's getting beefs with like little kid hip artists, hip hop artists and stuff. You old Eminem, stop. What if water were as active as Yo, you? Yo, Propel water. Oh, I remember Propel. I haven't heard of that brand in such a long time. With can you even buy Propel nowadays? You still can? Propel is how Gatorade does water. I'm not too familiar with Propel. This is just, this is just Gatorade for people that want to pretend they don't drink sugar. This was Propel Fitness Water. This is a beverage product of Gatorade, and it came out in the year 2000. I vaguely remember Propel. I haven't thought of Propel in, God, I don't know how long. I was probably drinking other things. Fair enough. At 10 years old? <laughs> I wasn't 10. Oh my God, you think I was 10 then? That's great. What? I thought you were like 30. Oh no. Oh no. Oh see, now you, you messed up because I feel young now. Oh, the PT Cruiser? One of the ugliest cars ever made. Bruiser Cruiser! That's all I think of. These were luxury shots back in the day. Ooh, interior. Ooh, trunk. They're ridiculous. Do people like like them now? Those aren't like coming back, no. That was the Chrysler PT Cruiser, which became known across the internet as one of the ugliest cars. Okay, not just me who thinks that. Cool. Is it still make it? Is it still out there? People still buying that frickin' car? I feel like I'm ankles deep in the grave. Oh God, I feel like I may have test driven one of these cars just for fun. And I can't believe it was 20 years ago. That feels crazy because I remember a world when when this like these types of cars didn't exist, you know, um, and it was a better world. Yeah, it was prettier. Oh, that's right. <gasps> the Goblet of Fire, though. The Goblet of Fire came out 20 years ago. The book. Central character. Wow. The books by author J.K. Rowling. This makes me feel old. Waiting list for the fourth book since Christmas. That's absurd. It doesn't feel that long ago. This actually happened one year before the release of the movie, which is going to be 19 years old this year. What? Ugh. Yeah, that makes me feel a little old because that was like a lifetime ago. I don't know, time flies so fast. I feel like you don't really think of it being like 20 years ago. I've been on like the earth for way longer than I 
keep remembering. No! She's not 20. She's turning 20 this year. No! I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Oh, Willow. So cute. Well, this is Willow Smith, daughter of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. She became well known for her song Whip My Hair back in 2010 when she was only 10 years old. Oh my god. Shut up. I feel like I was 10 when that came out. <laughs> Willow Smith now makes really good music though. Nothing like Whip My Hair. Like just really good music. It's crazy. They have like great genes, that whole family. Everyone's getting so old. And I'm I am too. <laughs> And, and look outside as much as you can. Oh, wow. And a lot of the International Space Station. It's just cool to know that we have footage of this. It's so amazing. And then, of course, there's a lot of ocean. That's amazing. We're over the ocean Dude, at first glance. That's gotta make you feel so tiny. I feel like video footage doesn't even do it justice. Like, that it has got to be the most absurd thing seeing in real life. What? That's so cool. I remember having to make, write a report on the space shuttle. And the encyclopedias, do you even know what those are? The encyclopedias I had at my house didn't have space shuttle in it because they were, it was too new. The International Space Station is a multi-nation project that is the largest single structure humans have ever launched into space, and it has been continuously occupied since November 2nd, 2000. And that was only, see, the way I think about it is like that was only 20 years ago. Like, you know, they put something up there that big. That doesn't make me feel old, though, but that's super cool. I don't know if that makes me feel old, but that's just a cool fun fact. <laughs> I I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty up there. I might need some arthritis medication before I leave here. That's crazy, because I remember when there was no space station. <laughs> I remember when we first, like, got one of those um, little robots to get to Mars. I was alive before they even created like space like just like structures in space that people can inhabit it also started construction in 1998 so you're older than when they started building it i'm 1998 i'm older than when they lovable unpredictable programmable it's the sims <laughs> you're lying it's a pizza man daddy this makes me feel this is my sh growing up. <sighs> Mashuno! When you create the characters and design the surroundings. I don't know which version of The Sims there was, but I dyed my hair blue because of The Sims. That's crazy. 20 years old. That one is old, right? Because they're up to like Sims 4. I remember seeing it. I'm like, it's a game that. You have to eat and work and clean. I'm like, that's my life. That's I don't want to play that. Wow. I love The Sims. I grew up playing The Sims. Me and my sister literally just would spend hours upon hours playing Sims together. Whew. This is a lot for me right now. Oh my God, the Razor Scooter. The Razor Scooter? You're f***ing kidding me. Uh. I love how epic this commercial is. Everyone wanted a Razor Scooter. I know my kids wanted a Razor Scooter. I bought one of those. That was the Razor Scooter, which prides itself on innovating the classic scooter to be a popular toy amongst children back in the year 2000. It was, and I remember that they there was some Razor Scooters that had the little like thing on the back wheel that you could like push and do the wheelie with. Wow, yeah, I remember riding scooters with my sister, and those were the best days of our lives. I had a green one. Whoa, whoa the green wheels. Oh my God. The scooters are on the sidewalk today and they're electrical. Wish back then it was like mind blowing if you had like an electrical scooter back then. Yeah, I remember buying one of those and we took it out in the parking lot at work and we were all trying to like figure out some tricks and stuff. And I remember I like jumped off of a curb and was trying to like spin it and it just slammed right into my shins. Long ago in a faraway land, there was a prosperous kingdom ruled by a young... Oh my goodness, I've seen this movie so many times. The Emperor's new groove. Okay. You threw off my groove. I'm sorry, but, but you, you threw, threw off the Emperor's it. groove. <laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
The Emperor's That company. came out in 2000. Oh, that surprises me. I remember this. Yeah. This makes me feel you know, a little old. A good thing That's impossible. Guy, or this would be really Shut up. This did not come out 20 years ago. If you take like the, like the new Lion King and you compare it to this, like it looks so old. Emperor's New Groove was a good one. Up to a certain point, it was only the classics, like, you know, Little Mermaid, Lion King, like stories that have been going around even before Disney, you know? And then all of a sudden they start introducing their new animation. It was like a new era. I know the boys watched it a million times. So when Jennifer watched it many, many years later, my daughter watched it many, many years. She would watch it and she was like, Mom, that's kind of... You know, isn't Dave Bay some white guy? Like, he's playing, uh, uh, isn't it from Peru or something? Like, I'm like, well, Mija, back in the time, that it wasn't really about that. It was about the story. It wasn't about, you know, protecting the, the culture. I mean, I get it now, because when we went to see Coco together as a family, she and I, like, cried at the intro. The final clip was Disney's classic, The Emperor's New Groove, starring David Spade, John Goodman, Eartha Kitt, and Patrick Warburton. Man, that's crazy. Oh, man. It's been a while. That makes me feel so old. That could not have been 20 years ago. I don't, it's, I'm an adult. Like, I gotta face reality. I'm like a full-on grown adult. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Finally, what was it like taking a stroll down memory lane back to the year 2000? It doesn't, I don't know, the year 2000 doesn't feel like it was that long ago. I was super, super young in 2000, so like, when the International Space Station came out, like, I'm a child. Like, I don't know that that's a thing, you know? So, yeah, a lot of them, you know, I wasn't really aware of at all. The camera phone, like, that is, like, such a revolutionary thing and to think that that came out like when I was very very young but like I'm still older than it is it's a trip for sure. Hey y'all, FB producer Blythe here. Want all of the Try Not To content that your heart can dream of? Well then head over to our brand new Try Not To channel where you will find bigger, badder, better Try Not To's than ever before. Click the link down in the description to subscribe. Bye!